Hello everyone, this is the first video on my new series on accounting for e-commerce businesses. So this is perfect for those accountants or bookkeepers who have clients who are selling in Amazon, US, Canada, or any Amazon platform, or those are selling in Walmart, uh, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or if you're familiar with Flair, and any other online shopping platforms. So to start with, uh, I'm going to discuss about how uh, a chart of accounts will look like for an e-commerce business. I have this client here who's selling in, in Amazon, Canada, and US. For my clients, I have two kinds of chart of accounts. So the first one is for those clients where our record sales every time that there is a payout and the other kind of chart of account is i record sales every month the first client is i record sales every payout so let's go to the chart of accounts a very important account in the chart of accounts of any e-commerce business is a holding account so i have here two holding accounts one for canada and one for the us so for amazon a holding account is very important because uh, amazon holds money from your sales for 14 days this is to protect amazon against chargebacks refunds or returns or other risks associated with um selling online so after 14 days it will be released to your connected bank account and then so i have two here it is not really a bank but it's a bank type so other accounts are so this client is selling in us so he has an ofx account connected with his amazon us account and then a canadian account for amazon canada and then a Shipsy account is, again, not a bank, but it is a bank type because it acts, because it's like a wallet. Uh, by the way, Shipsy is the preferred shipping solution for most Canadian sellers when they do online shopping from the U.S. So they deposit money into the Shipsy account, and then every time that there is a shipment, Shipsy takes the uh, payment from the Shipsy account. So uh, it takes the uh, payment for the shipping, for the taxes and the duties, any other costs associated with uh, shipping from U.S. to Canada. And I will also do a different uh, video for that one. And then the usual inventory accounts there, credit cards. And then this is a Canadian client, so we have a GST P uh, or HST payable account. And then equity accounts. And then for the income accounts, uh, what's it? The other accounts are automatically generated by QuickBooks. So, what's important here is, of course, the sales account. So, this client doesn't have classes yet. So, I have to create two sub accounts under sales one for Canada and then one for the US. And then the sales credits. So, again, one for the US, one for Canada, and then the sales refunds, then other services. Cost of goods sold is the same thing. Uh, for example, for the cost of advertising, we have one for Canada, and then we also have one for the US. The fees, the fees refund, inventory fees, and the promo rebates. All right, and next page, so it's for the U.S. And then the other inventory cost, the uh, cost of goods sold for the purchases, shipping, right there. And then the other, the usual expenses for any business, it's here. All right, so let me know if you would like to get a copy of this chart of accounts, and I will send you one. So let's proceed to my other client. We're in a record uh, sales per month. So for this next client, um, this client sells in Amazon US and Canada, and she also sells in Walmart. So this is her chart of accounts. So the usual 
holding accounts for Amazon Canada and for the US. And then she has a Walmart holding account as well and Chipsy. And then uh, let's go directly to the uh, income accounts. So I record the monthly sales. Okay, so I don't record the sales every payout. I record the sales every every end of the month. Okay, so that's why the um, income account looks like this. So I only have one account for the product. So all the product sales goes in here for Walmart, uh, Amazon Canada, and for the US because this client has activated classes. The subscription for this client is QuickBooks Online Plus. So that's why we have um, profit and loss per class for this client. For the income account, we have the product sales, and then we have FBA, inventory credit, liquidation proceeds, um, product sales. By the way, uh, this client and the first client that I have discussed is into uh, FBA. So their sales are fulfilled by Amazon. So meaning the client packages the um, items for sale and then sends it to the Amazon warehouse. And then every time that a customer buys from her Amazon account, Amazon will ship the products to the customer. It is not the seller that ships the product to the customer, but Amazon. So that's why it is called fulfilled by Amazon or FBA. So there are FBA product sales refunds, their loan uh, credits, and then product sales refunds, their product rebates. Actually, when we record uh, sales by sales per month for the client, there are more income accounts compared to when we record the sales per payout. And then let's go to the cost of goods sold. So there, adjustments. FBA fees there and then we also have the uh, CBSA duty taxes cost of advertising there so every time that we record this we put a class in the um, class column of the um, transactions or of the journal entry okay so this is our cost of goods sold packaging cost and other expenses and then here uh, for Walmart, Walmart Walmart is very straightforward. So for the cost of goods sold, we only have Walmart product refunds and Walmart referral fees. So, and these are the other expenses there. So just the usual expenses for the business. So let me know if you would like to get a copy of this uh, chart of account. So how would you like to record your sales? Is it per payout or per month? In my opinion, I prefer recording the sales transactions every payout because it's more timely. The thing with this customer is that I'm not the one who started the company file. So I just um, got this from the previous accountant. So that's why I have to continue the process. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. And the next video will be on recording uh, sales for Amazon and for Walmart. Thank you for watching. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!